0 and 1 count and the pitch. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Pitcher's got options here. He looked a little bit out front. Might be able to rush a fastball by him. Lagarde. Leads off second with nobody out. Line hard to center field. Dives and he hangs on for the out. Wow. And he is in there. Now that is an impressive vertical on this guy. As we take a look at it on replay, we can see just how high he had to get up to make that catch. That play might earn him a steak dinner from the pitcher. He's set and the pitch. Owen won the count. One out and a runner on third. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, watch out. This hitter's got one thing on his mind. Working for the punch out and the offering. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And he makes the throw to first. Sam is retired. Two down now. Good pitch there. That was a nice job by his battery mate to complete the play first after the ball hit the dirt. Junior. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Guys having a monster year, leading in two of the three triple crown categories. Top five in RBIs. If he can improve on that, he has a legit shot to win the crown. First offering on its way. Hits this one hard the other way. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Padres leave one. We are still scoreless. So coming to the plate, Omar Narvaez. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Here's the first pitch to him. Yeehaw. In there for strike one. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball. One and one. One and one. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. The two one. Fouled off. Here now the 2-2. Fouled away. Ready with another 2-2. 
popped up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. That is good. The left field at the 24. Standing in, Avisail Garcia. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Hey, this offense better be prepared to pull a trigger. This starter is known to be aggressive and come right after you. And it's 0-2 to Avisail Garcia. Change up, and he ain't buying it. One and two. Well, that's a pitch right there. You gotta just lay off. There's a good chance he's gonna throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Avisail Garcia goes down for out number two in the top half. Down and in here, one ball, no strikes. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the The pitch. Change up. Call to strike, and he comes back even at two and two. No score here as we play inning number two. Line drive to left. Sam is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Gone in order of the Brewers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Manny Machado. Third baseman, Manny Machado. First pitch of the at bat on its way. No balls in one strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Bottom of the second here with no score. Hit the other way out toward right field. After it is Yelich. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. That is better. The second baseman. Here's Brian Dozier now. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. He broke off a really nice breaking ball down in the zone right there. And even though this is one of the best hitters around, he waved right through it. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. You know that nasty changeup's lurking right here. If I'm in the batter's box, I have to tell myself to stay back. I have to take pole side out of the equation, or that changeup's going to beat me. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for San Diego. We'll move to the third with no score. Back now in San Diego, home of the Padres, who've certainly benefited from some solid pitching all season long. Entering today's action, they've allowed the fewest hits of any team in the league, while also racking up the most strikeouts. As one member of the pitching staff pointed out, we don't give you any breaks. From the beginning of the game to the end, our staff comes at you with nasty stuff, and we back that up with great command as well. Guys, clearly this staff presents opposing lineups with all kinds of challenges. All right, Heidi, thank you.
Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Well, this is an approach we've seen him use effectively lately. Set up the inside and then get him out with pitches away. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Justin Smoke goes down for the first out the here in inning number three. Peralta. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Third inning, no score to this point. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Hate to do it, but I've got to question the pitch calling right there. With a guy like this at the plate, you got to attack him with your fastball instead of pitching him like he's a middle of the order power guy. Throw in time at first for out number two. The center fielder, number two, Lorenzo King. Striding in once again, Lorenzo Kane, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. 2 and 0 to the Brewers center fielder. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Here it is, the 3 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Three one. And a full count to Kane. Three balls and two strikes. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle. And man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. That's a hit. The first of the game for Milwaukee. Hey just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball. Stay square as long as possible. And feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Christian Yelich is in for the second time now as he looks at the ball inside. 1 and 0. Count now a ball and a strike. 1 and 2 for Christian Yelich. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Popped him up. Mejia moving to his left. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Brewers. Stepping up to the plate, Francisco Mejia having a very nice year, currently second in the NL batting chase. Yeah, he's right in the prime of his career right now. These are the years you really expect to see the best of what this guy has to offer. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. And with that, we give you a look here at what's happening in the race in the National League Central. Next to the plate for the Padres, Chris Paddock. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Well, he's really locked in at this point in the game on the bump. So far this inning, four pitches and two outs. Got the first guy on one pitch, and then absolutely dominates this at bat with a three-pitch strikeout. Juan Ligares is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. No Big He's swing back. and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. Now another 0 2. 
on the screws to shortstop, but caught to retire the side. Padres down in order. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Ball set for the start of the inning, and in at the plate steps Keston Hura. This game is rolling right along Hura. as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Oh, and they pull the string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. And while we have a moment, here's a look at the Padres' road to the show report. Two players that this organization has to be happy about right now. Standing in now, Omar Narvaez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. The 1-1 one, one home is in off the plate. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And it's fouled away. Grounded to third. Taken in by Machado. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. The left number 24, Robert so it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Avisail Garcia. No balls and a strike to count. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Popped up. Hosmer over to his left. Two down. Up next to Milwaukee. The third baseman. Eric. At the plate, Sogard. Eric Sogard hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0-1. Sogard is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate. More often than not, a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Milwaukee leaves one. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in, here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. Right side, but it's well fouled. A one pitch on its way. A wave and a miss made him reach. Man, if I'm on the mound right now, these guys are swinging at everything. You just want to try and paint the corners. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that is by him on into center field. So good hitting on 0 and 2 nets him a leadoff single. I appreciate the moxie right there, but three now fastballs that. at this level no usually field. turns into a knock. Into the box, Tommy Fan. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. And now this is caught by the first baseman. It's a 1-3 put out. And now they'll hustle out there and attend to their pitcher. And that was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. But if there's one thing I know about this guy, he will not want to come out of this game. And from all indications, it looks like he's going to try to continue. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. 
My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Padres go down quietly through four. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Well, Matt, during the break, I caught up with Craig Council, the Brewers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Despite the fact that they've yet to push a run across, the game is still tied, and the pitch count for their opposition is really getting up there. They think that making him work as hard as he has is going to pay off later in the game, and that they just need to stick to the process. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Justin Smoke is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hit in the air out to left field. Pham is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Oh, that's so one gone in the Milwaukee fifth and into bat next will be Freddie Peralta and he gets ahead here with the fastball strike one no runs just one hit and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far and that misses one and one one and one no offer on that one two balls and a strike. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Here now the 2-2. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. And into hit next is Lorenzo Cain. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch coming. Here it is. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And he fouls this one off. The 1 1 home to first. Fielded cleanly by Hosmer, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. Halfway home, still no score. And back at Petco Park in San Diego as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres' offensive production to this point. And he told me that they have to find a way to be more patient at the plate. Over 90% of their at-bats have started with a swing on the first pitch. And given their lack of run production, that approach clearly isn't working. He said adjustment number one has to be to allow the at-bats to develop and look for good pitches to hit in deeper counts where they will hopefully have more of an advantage over the pitcher. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Oh, and a hearty cut there to be.
begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Machado now on 0 and 1. In the air to center. Kane is under it. One out. The right fielder, number four, Will Meyer. One away, and here's the 2013 American League Rookie of the Year, the power hitting Will Myers. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. There's the big breaking ball, and it's by him for a strike. Woo, not a spot you expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. Did high and deep out to straightaway left. Garcia looks up. And this one is gone. A home run. Solo shot here off the bat of Will Myers and even 30 home runs on the year and the Padres bust out in front one to nothing. I can tell you one thing you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys you're going to get exactly what he got a really bad result and he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. One run on three hits and two errors thus far for San Diego. A swinging strike and now it's 0-2. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Here's a ground ball heading for smoke over at first base. And that's the second out. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. First delivery to him on the way. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Ball one. We've seen this before. Fastballs in, then breaking balls away. That's been his plan of attack throughout the first half of this game. 1-1. One, one. Strike two, swinging. One, two. And this guy's got an 89-mile-an-hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And Smoke will take this one over to the bag. Here's Brock Holt now. to will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched at this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. On the ground near home. And by the time he recovers, they'll have no play on him at first. It's an infield single. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of the baseball season. Bottom line is this guy has bat-to-ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Behind 0-2 now. And here's a curveball. Look at strike three called. And that's the first out of the inning. So a runner at first now with one away. And in at the plate steps Keston Hira. Strike one to start the at bat. in the air out to left. Pham is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batter. The captain. Omar Narvaez. 
So striding in, Omar Narvaez, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Out in front of it, strike one. Two out with the man at first. Hanging curveball taken, though, for a second strike. Can't waste getting the leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. Pham will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Brewers strand one. They're on the short end of a one-to-nothing score. Now batting, Matt Strom is getting his first plate appearance of the game here in the sixth. Here's the pitch. Fouled off. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's out number one. The center fielder, number seven. Here's Juan Ligares, one for two, including a double back in the first. Now here's the pitch. Curveball fooled him there as he's way out in front. After taking such an ugly swing, if I'm the batter right now, it has to be in the back of my mind that he might repeat that exact same pitch. After it is Yelich. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Hey, there's a hard hit ball that was going to be down for extra bases. The ball had some spring on it, and it bounced over the wall, and the ground rule double puts him on second base without having to leg it out. pitches here it is is put in play to the right side of the infield oh and he can't pick it up cleanly now back. so back digging two. in now Tommy Pham 0 for 2 from him so far in this one delivery to him on the way down the third baseline wow the Padres have been scuffling so far they need to get a big hit and it's about time somebody comes through right about now. Now the 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Now some movement out in the Milwaukee bullpen. Both the lefty and a right-hander have begun to stretch it out. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Hit hard to the right, but foul. The one two and he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Piura is under it two gone. Now that is good stop. Seven hand Stepping in and ready for another shot. Fernando Tatis Jr. And their runners at the corners now. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Runners on first and third, two away. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Pause and the 0 2. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Padres leave a pair, but they're on top one to nothing. Stepping into the box, Avisail Garcia. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. 
starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Hard liner towards short. Great effort on the dive, but it's through into left. You can't ask for anything more than getting a leadoff man on right there. It brings the go-ahead run to the plate. He's in position to do some damage. It'd be interesting to see how the manager plays this one. Here's Eric Sogard. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here comes the 1 0. Now a fastball for a cold strike. It's 1 and 1. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Garcia ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. He'll score, and the Brewers have drawn even. We're all square and one apiece. You know, Dero, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Well, good fundamental baseball might just win him this ball game. They had the go-ahead run at second base, so this guy knows exactly what he has to do. Just a simple ground ball to the right side gets that guy to third. And now, all sorts of ways to take the lead. Ben Gamble will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Boy, this is a dicey situation right here, D, where with the runner in scoring position, the sack fly brings that run in. This is where you're going to really have to try to keep the ball on the ground as a pitcher. What do you want to do as a hitter, D, Rowe? Yeah, right here, you are looking for anything above the belt. You see it up, you have to let it go. This is where you have to check your ego at the door. A swing, and he pulls it down the line and deep, but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them. But when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does. Especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good about yourself. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. In today's game, of seeing so many guys strike out and not worry about it. I'd love to see a little two-strike approach right here. Maybe shorten up a little bit and try and four-speed something the other way. And that misses two and two. And this pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2. To work the count back to three and two, and he's seen a lot of pitches too. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Hit down the line at first. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. And that's going to plate the runner from second as this is now a three to one ball game. Boy, that's a big Not RBI bad. right there to give this team a two-run cushion going into the late innings. And it always makes it easier on the opposing pitcher to know they have a two-run lead. Yeah, Leo Mazzoni always used to say, old pitching coach for the Atlanta Braves, solos won't kill us, guys. And he's absolutely right. You give yourself a two-run lead, a solo homer's not going not gonna to do too much damage. He's two for three and looking for more here. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Your attention, please. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. And that'll get down for a base hit. 
And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Number 23 for him thus far. And it's now a six-to-one ball game. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. That swung on and missed. And we're even at one and one. Now here it comes. Swing and a line drive. Foul. The one two. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Again, he sends it out of play. The one-two. Into right field. That's a base hit. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his now hands back, back stayed That's through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. Ready once again, Omar Narvaez, 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. On the ground to third. Machado is there. Throw gets him. Two down. The left field, number 24. Abisai Garcia. So here is Abisai Garcia. Runner in scoring position with two gone. From the stretch. And that's in there for a strike. Now time is called. And this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Luis Perdomo will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seven. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike, too. Oh, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye. One and two. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. But it'll come at a cost. David Phelps will come on now as he'll be appearing in his 45th game this year. Here's Manny Machado now. His past batting line against David Phelps. He's a 333 hitter. He's taken him deep once. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, Matt. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. I offered it a low one there, but came up empty. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. That Shooting for that low ball. inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. Phelps. A right-hander standing six foot three. He's currently on a one-year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Now the pitch. Ball. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Will Myers waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. 
Well, this has been a completely different performance from the offense that we saw Don't yesterday. Like the they were looking four. like the 27 Yankees yeah. 24 hours ago, but they've oh, been yeah. held in check so far in this one. That's kind of how baseball goes, though. So here's Will Myers as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Gets the fastball by him here and he's in control 0 and 2. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire, and that's out number two. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen no to start better. this no inning. Better. That's back-to-back -back like K's, and he's making oh, it yeah. look pretty easy. This has the no, makings no. of a good outing so far. Brian Dozier at the plate. Here's a fly ball well hit. Back goes Garcia, still ranging back. And it's way up there to the top of the Western Metal Building. It's a solo shot here from Brian Dozier. 32 now for the season. As the lead is cut to four, it's six to two now. Boy, when this guy gets in the groove, he can hit him. And when he hits him, he hits him in bunches. Hit a home run in last. Pitch him on the outer part of the plate. Look out, this guy's going to do some major damage. Stepping in now, Francisco Mejia. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Kane going back to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The Padres are able to get one back in the inning thanks to the solo home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's the Brewers six and the Friars two. Now at the plate, Eric Sogard. He'll start us off in the eighth. Number seven, Eric Sogard. First delivery to him on the way. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. One one Ball oh. two now. Two oh count. The pitch. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. The three and one pitch. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Here comes the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. And that's up in the zone a bit, but a called strike. 0 oh and 2. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0-2. Got a. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. He definitely tried to elevate the heater right there with two strikes, but caught way too much of the plate. Nice execution by the hitter. Ryan Braun will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. And this will open it up a bit more as the lead moves to 7-2. to two. 
Yeah, now they're looking at a five-run deficit, and that doesn't bowl very well for them, especially considering that they've only been able to scratch a couple of runs across the entire game. If this isn't the end, they can definitely see it from here. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Wow, last night must seem like a million years ago. They couldn't get anything going, but they're lighting it up in this one. To the plate now, Brock Holt. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. First and second here with nobody out. Now he turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. And this will get to the wall over near the 322 sign. And the runner is in from second. And the second run will score as well. Yeah, Matt, credit to this offense. They've been swinging the sticks well all game long. And it just continues here with a two RBI hit. Some days the hitting gods are simply just smiling down on you. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Man, he wants that swing back. He'll be thinking about that all night. He crushed that ball. He just needs to stay back a little longer. So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Christian Yelich becomes the first out of the inning. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. I'll tell you, they're posting video game numbers here. I mean, that's their 11th run of the game, and they're showing no signs of slowing down. Just an absolute onslaught from this offense. Perdomo with a little do-it-yourself play, and there are two down. The left field, number 24, Avisail Garcia. Into the box now, Avisail Garcia. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Myers on the move. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Here's the 0 1 pitch. 1 1. One and two now. One ball, two strikes. Has a look, now the pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Your Ray Black please. is on to pitch out of now the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 50. Ray. Bottom of inning number wow. eight set to go, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Luis Perdomo. Here's the first pitch to him. The wind up and the 0 1 takes this the other way to right and the pitcher's got himself a base hit oh boy this is some serious bragging rights for the next couple weeks in the clubhouse when a relief pitcher gets an AB and is able to capitalize with a big base hit he's not going to let the boys hear the end of this one in now Juan Ligares a swing and a ground ball to third a dive and oh he can't hang on. Now batting the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And he's gonna make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. Good read there at second base to know he can make it to third. 
on the fly yeah. out. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. So one man gone for the Friars in their half of the eighth. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he throws the oh, fastball boy. by him here, 0-1. Woo wee That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Runners are at first and third, one away. Drives it the other way to deep right. Yelich going back at the track, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall, and the run is in to score from third. The tag, and they got him as he couldn't get back to second. The back. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Kane on the move. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. All set to start the ninth in this one. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Eric Sogard. 0-1 the count. Sogard. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Two and one. Uh, uh, Two and one to count. Hit down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Hey, that's a nice job by the batter right there. The Left-handed batter going down the third baseline. You don't see that happen too often. A lot of things have to go right. And with the third baseman playing off the line, oof, that's a nice job of hitting right there. So the switch hitter Justin Smoke steps up. One ball, no strikes to count. Nobody out, runner on first. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Lagara is giving chase. He's there and records the first out. The pitcher, number 50, Ray Black. The pitcher, Ray Black, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yeehaw. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Runner at first here, one man out. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Craig Stammen comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Behind 0-2 now. And he got him. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. In now is Lorenzo Kane as the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. The 1 0. Hit hard down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but it gets by the glove down the line. Boy, that's not a bad pitch right there. That's a pretty good sinker. He just happens to hook that one right into left field for a base hit. Yeah, he got the bat head out right there, Dan, and was able to get that one to left field. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. Two down, runners at first and second. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. On the first, and the Brewers are turned away as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. One more shot coming up. We'll go to the bottom of the ninth. It's the Brewers 11 and the Padres 3. And in steps Manny Machado. Starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional.
Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. Well, there's no denying he was all over that fastball. That's what we like to refer to as a little bit of an ambush. Oh, oh, heater gets turned around. Here's Will Myers. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He's working on a one for three thus far. A one count. Here's the pitch. Belted high and deep into right center. Looking up is Kane. Gone! A two-run home run off the bat of Will Myers. His second of the game. And this lead has been cut to just six now. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Now, Corey Knable, six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. The batter, number nine. Second baseman. Into the box Brian. now, Brian Dozier, as he grounds one briskly to short. He's right there on the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Now batting, catcher, Ron Fisco. Mejia. At the plate, Francisco Mejia. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch on its way. Fouled away. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. The Friars find themselves losing in the late innings. What are your thoughts on this one, guys? Yeah, Matty B, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, d -row, all about pitching. It is. It's, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game, defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs is going to win the ball game. The next 0-2. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Kane going back to the track. But he can't get there and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. Well, he hit that one pretty well. All the way out to the warning track and clearly there's some hard dirt out there because that ball bounced right over the wall for a ground rule double. One ball, no strikes to count. One out and a runner on second base. Swing and a miss as he ramps one one. up on the fastball. One and one. Oh, man, was that a hack. He's trying to create his own run support with a swing like that. One and one. Here it is. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. This is skied into short left center. Holt ranging into the outfield. He gets there, and that's the second out. To bring that one down. Whoa. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Padres down to their final out now, and that'll bring up a former gold glover. Here's Juan Lagares. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. And he will make the catch here for the final out. And the Brewers have come back to even up this series at a game apiece as this ball game is over. If you want to know what this game was decided, that's easy. Look no further than the seventh inning. That big the rally and the crooked number on the scoreboard.